Hello all and welcome to Music Minute, the hot theory guide to learn those extra concepts the right way, brought to you by stevenjacks.com. My name is Steve and today it is 2014. To rein in the new year, I got a couple new things for you. Number one, I got a new topic to talk about. We're going to make a piece out of random chords. Number two, I got a new necklace. What I meant by making music out of random chords is kind of what it sounds like. This past week on Facebook, I put a post that asked for people to submit just random chords, just one at a time, one per user. I started the post off with a C major triad because everyone likes C. What I got in response was a random collection of chords, and here they are. After the progression was long enough, I took all the chords and voice led them into each other. Here is the result I got. The static chords themselves started to sound a little iffy, but when I put them through a synthesizer and rolled them up like this, it started to sound a little bit more interesting. Have a listen. What this means is that you can take random chords and still make music out of them. This exercise was a great exercise to get myself out of my comfort zone of always being able to call the shots. Here I have some random stuff and it still works to a degree. I then took this a little bit further. I used the same chord progression but altered it slightly and I put a melody with it. See what you think. So I challenge you this month to make something random like this. If you want to create randomness on your own like this, you can just put a bunch of chords into a hat and you can draw them out randomly. Try to stay true to them because the randomness factor is what makes it interesting. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Music Minute from 2014. If you have any comments or questions or you have an idea for a future episode, you can let me know on Facebook, the comments below, or directly email me at my website, stevenjacks.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more Music Minutes. Did you hear about the musician's New Year's resolution? It was D dominant 7 to G minor.